Welcome back to another Shamshir Sound video. Today we're taking a look at New Time, a time manipulation effect used to correct, add groove, and time stretch different samples, different loops that you have, especially effective on guitar loops, percussive loops, vocals. Here we're going to throw in a guitar loop and we're going to see how we can easily manipulate the sound and move around the notes in a way that's really difficult to do on the playlist and you can do it very quickly and make your loops sound a lot more genuine. If you guys are enjoying these quick videos, remember to smash up the like button. Let's jump right into it. We have a kick loaded up 128 BPM. We have new time on insert one, just blank. I'm going to drag in this guitar loop from Vengeance and we can see a few things here. We have a green marker, which is the down marker. It's kind of the first marker of the transient, the first impact. Let's ignore that for now. We have orange markers also. We can add new markers by clicking and we can also click and get rid of another one. We can also hold shift and we can see this guide where we can look for a new part of the sample to add another marker. The first thing we're going to do is click slave playback to host. What this does is it keeps in sync your playlist with new time. That way when I play this back with the kick on the playlist, you can see the marker. It will be playing it back with new time and that way whatever changes we make in real time, once we're happy with it, we'll just bounce it to the playlist, we'll be good to go. Be mindful of this tempo. I know that this sample is 128 BPM, but if it wasn't, you can right click, set the correct BPM, click accept, and then click sync. And that's just gonna make things even better when you make adjustments. It's gonna make sure everything is in sync. Everything's looking good, 128 all across the board. Let's play back what we have so far. So this is no different than throwing in the sample on the playlist. So what we're going to do is we're gonna play it back and I'm gonna click and drag these markers to the left and right to change up really the pattern, the groove of the sample. Just move around the different notes. Just like that, we've shuffled around the melody and some stuff you wanna be careful of because this does time manipulation. So if I drag this all the way to the right, it's gonna be really mangled. Now, maybe it'll sound good, maybe it'll sound bad. If you're making adjustments here and you don't like what you have, you can always just come up here, click undo. Instantly, we just change this up from the original sample, just moving around the notes. Let's drag in like a house percussive loop. See how this sounds on its own. Now, when I hold Alt, it's off the grid, but if I left click and move, you can see it comes back to the grid. So if you wanna make an adjustment like that, it's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna hold Shift and I'm gonna add another marker right here. And it's kind of this pre-snare. I'm gonna see what happens if I pull this pre-snare. Can we get a longer pre-snare? And what about here? What if I add something here and then manipulate this? Can I get a longer, let's say like a longer kind of tail? And let's say you're just happy with this, the way it is. You can just click send to playlist and bam, you have it just exported and you have it right here. You can do whatever you want with that. So for this final example, I have a bass loop thrown in. It detected the tempo incorrectly. So I'm gonna set it as 128 and we're good to go there. Let's play this back. What you can do too is you can simulate what it's gonna sound like in the end result. So I'm gonna add kickstart after new time just for a little bit of side chain. We'll move some markers around, we'll add some new markers, see what we get.
cool. So what I did was I dragged them to the beginning of each bar, just like at the beginning here and here, just so it's like one bar playing back, has kind of a slightly different vibe to it. I like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift and look for some areas where there's a little bit of a nuance, a little bit of breathing so that I can manipulate that. So I'm gonna hold shift, I can see the guide, and I'm gonna go ahead and select right here. That's a great example because we moved things to the left and right, made it a little bit more shuffled, but at the same time, I held shift and added where there was this exhale that, uh, and then made it so that this bass line is shorter, but then more of that vocal. So you just want to be mindful of what's in between each marker. If you want that vocal to be longer, then look to add something in between because we have a marker added here and we have a marker where that vocal ends. I really see so much power with this because then you get it to where you like it and you can just hit something like send to playlist. You can bounce what you had, keep making some revisions, and then you have kind of alternate versions. We can just keep this and continue to adjust this how we like. Maybe we want a variation where the bass at the beginning is longer. So I really like that you can just quickly come up with some ideas. Now, the groove part, I'm still exploring it. It's a little confusing at first, the different presets, because you have a groove knob, but the groove knob needs those groove markers. So if you click on here, load, and you click on something like this, let's go ahead and just click Boogaloo. We can see it added these yellow markers. And at this point, if I adjust groove, it's gonna add some swing in either direction. <laughs> you're gonna have to really experiment. It's gonna be really up to the content that you're putting through this. It's really one of those things where it's either gonna sound great with new time or it's just gonna sound like, what the hell am I even doing? But I think this is a good example where it's got this kind of Porter Robinson-esque bass, Madion type of vibe where you're moving stuff around and this type of time stretching can really make something more interesting than from the original loop and then can quickly inspire you because if you're playing this back detached, and you have this aligned with the host, the playback, you can just get immediate inspiration to make bars longer, shorter, stretch them. And I think this is great. And it's all about inspiration and getting the fastest way from your brain to the speakers. Loving this so far, new time. I checked it out today, did a deep dive today, and I'm interested to learn more about this plugin. Really nice stuff. I love having it just detached, aligned with the playlist and just moving stuff around. If you wanna move markers all at the same time, if you hold control and you select multiple markers, you can move them around across the grid, you can hold alt, and you can also adjust this off grid. If you let go of alt, then it's gonna quantize that on the grid. If you don't wanna work on the grid, you can also turn off that snapping, but by default, the snapping's on. You probably wanna leave the snapping on for most of the material, especially EDM stuff that you're putting through this. Uh, but you're gonna wanna make sure snapping and whatnot's off if you're working with something that maybe needs to be you know, manually curated. Maybe you throw in a sample that needs to be guided and you set a lot of manual markers to align to your project in the correct uh, beat to make sure that it's tempo synced. But a lot of these samples, they're already tempo synced, Vengeance stuff. We already know the BPM that we're working with. So often it's adding markers, moving markers around, adding groove and kind of getting a manipulation of the samples. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys can jump into new time and adjust the loops and get some immediate inspiration. If you guys are enjoying these quick videos, remember to smash up the like button, smash the subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you're alerted of the daily uploads, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, take care.